Hello YouTube, Jenna2005 here with a review of the Kamen Rider Build Kaiten Kenju DX Drill Crusher. So this is a two-mode weapon that Build uses. Uh, you can see it right here. There's Rabbit Tank. There's the show logo. There is the lights and sounds. I'm not, I guess that's also because it spins. I guess that's the red. Is I've never really seen that before. Um... The, what did I say, Kaiten Kenju DX Drill Crusher. And then right here we see the full bottle that comes with Hari Nezumi the Hedgehog, which I just think is cool that it's got a hedgehog bottle now. Look, on this side we see uh, him with it in gun mode, right on that side. And on this side we see it uh, in blade mode, right on this side. Oh. On the back we see, look, blade mode. You pull the trigger and it spins. On this side, it's you torch it to gun mode, and you you pull the trigger, and it makes noises still, and lights up. And then uh, over here, you put a full bottle in, and it does ready go and Voltec break. Over here, you put Hari Nezumi in the belt to make a Hari Nezumi tank. Up here, uh, just shows off using the bottle with other stuff. Box contents over there. Uh, shake the bottle, twist the cap. You see blade mode, gun mode, and then him using it. And on the bottom is the drill crusher with his face. So it comes in two pieces in the box. First is this piece where all the sounds are, right? Oh, and let's tilt it down here. And then the drill portion, which is a drill. Um, so this is the body of the weapon right you can see it's gonna it's gonna be a tiny weapon as we're used to seeing it's kind of almost like an axe blade on it for whatever reason uh trigger right this is the full bottle slot on this side is this button to release the full bottle this is the battery door right here <clears throat> and uh the where is the speaker it's somewhere on here. I didn't check in advance. Um, but I mean, it makes noises. So there's a speaker somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face and I just don't see it. Um, so this is the drill part. All right. Just to drill. These are the buttons that release it. So basically what happens is I stick it on here like this. Right. And you can see this button that indicates take it off. This is there's an arrow. I push it and it releases. I then stick it this end first into this hole, and now it's in gun mode. Again, there's another arrow that now points away, and it releases that end. So that's pretty much how this thing works. <clears throat> let's uh, let's get it on. All right. So this is the basic sound. This is pretty much the only sound. We're gonna put the no activation, no recognizing anything, just the clack of it snapping in place. Pull the trigger. It does that. Hold the trigger. Nothing really different, right? Uh, that's about it, right? I'm gonna stick a bottle in. Here's Rabbit. A waiting noise. Now there's no reader in here. There's no recognition of which bottle has been inserted. Just that there has been a bottle inserted. If I pull the trigger again, it'll do the sound again. Okay. Now, if I pull the bottle out, it does make that the removal, the bottle removal noise. Apparently, if you push it enough, it'll just spin and make a gun sound. Um, stick that in. No recognition again that it's in gun mode. And now, I got the same thing by pulling the trigger. All right? You see the little needle moves. It lights up. This needle moves. That's it bottle again
everything is the same. <laughs> this could not be more underwhelming of a weapon if they tried. Okay, that's... And that's upsetting because, I, it, I mean, not that it could have been something overly great, but it could have been at least halfway decent. And I don't even think I can call it that. But you do get this. A DX version of Hari Nezumi, right? The Hedgehog, which we see here. This is a white, clear bottle. We see up top, it's got HS for Hari Nezumi and then Shobosha, fire truck. That's what it will best match with. Uh, this gives, um, build the spine knuckle, right? We saw that on the back of the box. Um, it's a little gauntlet on his arm that has like a spikes all over it. It's pretty neat looking. Uh, we can twist the cap, right? We got the QR code. We got the rails on the back here. It's number 064. It does have whoop, the clacker in there. So what we can do is we can get this in here. And we can Hari Nezumi tank. Again, a trial form, not a best match. I'm ready. Sweet. Now, oh, and let's let's do this. The finisher. No, it it does do the right colors at least, which is pretty cool. Even if the sound's not unique. Okay, now, since we did the full bottle holder, we can... Right, we can now do Hari Nezumi Sojiki. And now we'll really see that the sounds are the same. We'll do two different trial forms in a row. Exactly the same. Notice now over there's a green light instead of a blue because that's the color for Soji. Ready, go! So that's going to do it for this one. this thing so like I said as a weapon it's it's really disappointing like I wanted to like this so much more than I actually do it's to me the main selling point is this little bitty bottle right there in front you get a DX version of that it gives you something else to mix and match with you know yeah it's best match just like Sojiki's won't come out till November but it's something you can mix and match and play around with in the meantime, and these bottles do look pretty cool. I uh, have a soft spot for them. But yeah, the, we the weapon's something to just kind of sit there and look at. Uh, it's literally minutes of fun. So uh, until next time, check the podcast for RazorRangerNevels.com for the latest Toku news and the creative story possible. As always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.